What's up everyone? Karu here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we're going to have another pro practice. And this time with someone that I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to watch. Uh, with me hitting with Naomi. Um, I tend to not post a lot about her and us hitting just because uh, it's, I just like to keep things separate. Uh, the channel and you know what I do with Naomi. This won't be like a full practice or anything. I was actually just trying to get uh, some extra footage for my upcoming review of the v Core 98. Uh, I just wanted to get a little more of me hitting with the racket. Uh, I don't, didn't think I had enough footage. So, you know, I just put my phone out there uh, to hit a little bit down the middle with her. Uh, but it turned out to be a nice little hitting session that we had for the first like 15 minutes of practice. And I figured, you know, no harm in posting that one just because uh, it's just a couple of things that we did that I think, again, uh, the reason I do this, this videos with the pro practice is f to show that you guys can do a lot of what pros do. It's not really, um, we're not doing anything that is very crazy that it's, you know, reinventing the wheel. It's just um, a lot of it is very simple. And I think you guys can simplify uh, your, your practices by watching us hit so this is a will be kind of the same format where you know i just talk through the practice when i feel like i need to step in i will talk a little bit but i'll also just you know leave the the video running uh for you guys to just watch um us hit um there's a couple of things that i i want to point out during this video and i think it's going to be a fun one it does some pretty good hitting uh, like we always do in practice so uh, hope you guys enjoy it and as always if you're not subscribed to the channel yet Please subscribe really helps us uh, grow and be able to you know put out more content uh, for you guys get more you know early reviews of rackets and things like that that everyone wants to watch so we really appreciate everyone that's subscribed and if you're buying anything from tennis warehouse uh, we have uh, an affiliate link down below we get a little bit of a commission and no cost to you um, it really helps us but let's just get to to the hitting because that's what I'm sure all you guys are here for all right, so starting practice, obviously with mini tennis, uh, we like doing it. Again, I said it before, some people don't for some reason, uh, but I, I always think it's important. I think it's a good way to to try to, you know, just brush the ball really well, feel the ball from the beginning. Uh, something, you know, we typically do um, in practice, not just me and Naomi, just me in general, is in mini tennis, you try to hit, you know, as fast as you can but it still goes in the box, you know what I mean? Not just kind of like tapping the ball there, but, you know, really brushing and accelerating. It's a, just a great way to, to feel topspin. I think a lot of people struggle with creating topspin, especially when they're beginners. I mean, that's kind of the first thing um, you want to learn as a beginner is to, to hit tops with topspin. And mini tennis is just a good way to do it. Um, you, you have to make the ball go up and down. You see, it's like we're hitting the ball pretty far over than that. Uh, but then making it drop, so like kind of creating that shape that you'd create from the back of the court. Uh, just really up and down, up and down, feeling that brush. Um, now we switch to hitting just slices, uh, which is also something to that it's good for, for players to try just because you work a little bit on your hand, hands and feel, uh, you know, again, keeping the ball um, inside the box, uh, but also going you know, decently big, not just tapping the ball there. Like, again, as fast as you can. Let's see, on this one, you want to keep it lower uh, to the net. It's just a good way to, to train your feel.
Okay, now after we've done that for a while with the slices, we play just a little game uh, to five, where we use both boxes, um, and we can only slice, but we cannot hit winners. So winners don't count. You have to force the error um, on the other person. Obviously, it's a really tough thing to do because you can't really hit winners. You're not hitting over the ball. You're just hitting slices, and you just have to move the ball around. It's a great way to, you know, Try to understand the court a little bit better. Try, try to inflict pain without um, hitting a winner. I think a lot of players you know, just think that um, the only way to win points is hitting winners, when it's not. You can uh, force errors uh, with just placement on the court, uh, hitting the right shots, finding depth, finding angles. And here, even just being mini tennis, just being like in, you know, inside the box, uh, you can still try to figure out a way uh, to hurt the other person to a certain extent just by slicing. Um, so, you know, you see we're moving the ball around, make some mistakes here and there. We also have to force it a little bit uh, to be able to create that, uh, those mistakes. So it's a really fun little game that I think you can play, you know, with anyone um, and just try to, like, you know, move the ball around the, the box. Uh, no, again, no, no winners and, you know, just have some fun with it. Any bets on who wins? Leave them in the comments below before we finish. That's a redo. Touched the net. Uh, went to the other side, so nice redo. Don't know what the score is right now. I think it's like 2 2. Playing to 5. That's a good slice there by me. There you go. Force the error there. Force the error. That's a good slice by her. Let me move. Oh, that was good. Oh, yes. Found right at her feet. All right. This is a little fun game to five. You also like, you know, you move a lot, so you get your body warm and going. Um, so no, there's a lot of positives about doing this, this little game. Okay, so after that little game uh, to warm up in mini tennis, we're on the baseline now. You know, just hitting through the middle. How we always start. So, you know, just really feeling the ball, trying to find find depth. See, I'm a little bit further back on the court, just so I can get a lot of extension first. I don't want to hog the baseline too much early, just so I can really have my time to extend my shots, feel the ball well. Um, you know. We are, I am playing with someone who hits with a lot of pace, uh, so you, you know you need to start a little further back. Just get that feel of the ball early. And this will be uncut. There's going to be mistakes. It's not all perfect. I know you know a lot of times we post things that on, on you know on Instagram like the best rallies and stuff, but we make mistakes um, more often than not. The point isn't to just not miss the point is to hit quality balls all the time any pro no matter what level anyone that is in a high level tennis uh, yeah. player uh, 
they can make a hundred thousand balls if they want to just push the ball in but the point isn't to just make a lot of balls is to make a lot of balls with quality um, being a little bit out of your comfort zone and not just you know push the ball in so here obviously um, that's what we're trying to do at this point uh, we have the the cone the cones down the middle just to give us kind of like a target uh, as you can see we're actually right here re really hitting close to the <laughs> to the cones right now that was a pretty good uh, you know, stretch there of forehand really close to the cone by both of us um, and it just gives us a target you know and like I said before quality not just hitting the ball in but hitting the ball in with quality and it's okay to make make the mistakes when you're actually going for the right shot um, I think that's what a lot of amateurs end up struggling with they make one or two mistakes and they immediately think they're not playing well or um, that they should be doing something different when, when they shouldn't. It's, you know, mistakes are mistakes. Just see it for, see them for what they are instead of trying to, um, you know, fix your stroke every time you make one mistake. Make a mistake. Next time, uh, make a little adjustment. Maybe add some top spin. Maybe add some shape. Obviously, depending on how you made the mistake. But that's the goal. mistakes but again it's fine keep hitting uh, keep going at it there's no uh, reason to just make any adjustments you can see Naomi hitting with a lot, a lot of length uh, a lot of depth on the court and even when you make the, the mistake that goes a little bit, little bit long it's okay uh, that's the mistake you want to make keeping the ball very long on the court very deep on the court it's always very important Pay attention really to how we control the direction. How we you know, obviously, we have the two cones uh, that you know we want to hit the target, and our objective, you know, is to keep the ball as close to that cone as possible. Um, doesn't matter how fast this ball is going. I need to make the adjustment um, to her shot, uh, and I said this before on another video about consistency that I'll link below. Um, that it's you know you as a player for consistency you want. To adjust to the ball you can just hit the ball that you want to hit you know if she's hitting the ball really really deep deep and fast you know I I need to make the adjustment um, to stay a little bit lower maybe shorten my swing a little bit so I can still hit the direction I want to hit um, sometimes it's all about that you just need to hit the direction you want to hit see like really fast ball there I need to just sort of flick it back into into play um, with um, my hands, but you know at least it goes straight. Is it the best shot I'm ever gonna hit? No, but it's in it's in play and you keep the point going or the rally going uh, And that's something you can add to your training always feel like you're controlling the direction see when we miss uh, To the side you can tell like it was just a late shot um, And that's something again a lot of amateurs struggle a little bit with you think of too much about power and topspin But you don't think a lot enough about direction direction you need to control the direct okay so now after hitting through the middle for for you know about what eight ten minutes we're playing a little game where there's again no winners just through the middle and we're playing the seven you know you miss uh, you lose a point and if you hit the target uh, it's worth three points so if you hit the cone it's worth three points and no winners um, and so you just add a little bit of a point situation to something that you do all the time, right? You step on the court, uh, you try to hit down the middle a million balls against your, you know, your practice partner, your coach, wh or whoever, and there's usually not a lot of consequences in those, right? You just hit through the middle, you make the mistakes, it doesn't really matter too much. But when you add into a, make into a point situation, you know, it adds a little bit of pressure. You can't just like miss or just hit T off every ball. You need to make the adjustments. Um, and the only way for the point to end here is with a mistake. So you just need to be, uh, you know, have that shot tolerance uh, to stay on the point. 
keep the ball in play, uh, make the right decisions, even if you're just hitting through the middle. So nice little fun game for, for anyone to, to play. You can really do at any level you can do this. Uh, again, no, no uh, winners, just through the middle. And you know, if you hit the target, uh, it's worth three points. Pretty sure I'm up here, but uh, I made a couple of mistakes in the last couple of points. there but she missed it before I just wanted to keep the rally going because it was such a good rally crushing in here, huh? Yeah, very good rally here. Oh, finally take the cake on that one. Uh, long one. Long rally. Great rally, though, for, by both of us. Um, good intensity. You see, like, just adding that little, like, competition to it, it makes it a little more exciting. And don't just go out and just hit balls. Like you always want to compete. Compete is fun. Competing is fun. At this point, I have no idea what the score is. I think it's around maybe six four. Maybe I have a match point. Nah, I made the mistake there. Might not be six four. Uh, I think now it was 6-4, she hits the cone, and she goes up 7-6, and we were playing a 7, but uh, now we said it that at 7-6 her, if it's 7 all, we'll play a one-point tiebreaker, we'll see what happens. Alright, 7 all, 7 all, what happens here? And she hits the cone and wins it. I don't, get the I don't even get rebuttal on that one. That's just unfair. But, you know, that's it for down the middle. Uh, and now we're going to play some points. And the last thing we did in this practice session, we just did a game where I, would ha I had to go cross twice. And Naomi had to go cross once. And then the second ball, it was open. She could go down the line uh, or cross court, but the point was open. So. If Wim feeds it to me, I go cross, she goes cross, I go cross, and then at that point, uh, she can go anywhere. And you just play the point out from that. Um, so it started just us kind of training it uh, without counting, just playing a lot of points that way. Uh, I made a terrible mistake right there. But yeah, just to, you know, I, you guys watch the, the, you know, I know a lot of you watched my practice with Marcos, uh, another top 100 player. If you haven't, I'll link that one below, but we did a kind of a sort of similar game where, you know, we just play cross and anyone can switch line at any point. So, again, instead of just going and hitting a bunch of cross courts, which is important, don't get me wrong, I think it's important, but incorporating um, playing point play because then you, you need to not just make those cross court shots, but to make them with quality. See, like she hits it very deep there. I couldn't even get the ball. Uh, to go cross so you know it's just something that I think you know, if you're already at the level where you can play points that you're playing tournaments that you're you know you like competing this is sort of the thing you need to do you need to be playing with more point situations and training with more point situations than just hitting cross courts you know what I mean like you don't want to waste that much time on that because it's unrealistic you're never going to really play um, just cross courts uh, in a point for that long so again I think it's important to 
to to do that uh, to incorporate this you know it's open court situations right where you start with you know cross a little bit but then you know the points open and I think starting here we we start counting and I just try to be flashy there and missed it but still a good point by both of us have fun on the court you know that's a silly mistake by me yes but have fun you know what I mean don't try to just you know be a stiff out there try different things uh, enjoy the game You're putting me on my oh, back foot right there. In. Shouldn't have gone cross, but oh, should have gone down the line. But oh. good hit, good hit by her. Another silly mistake. Right. The core 98 kind of a little bit too, too too powerful for me right here. She missed that one line, but you know she had the the open there. Why not? Good opening. I change the pace a little bit, lift the ball up, land it deep, or earn me a short ball that I put away. I think at that, this point it's 3-2, 3-2 her. Whoa, what a bad mistake, Jesus Christ. In my defense, the racket is strong, kind of loose right now. It's been strong for a while, um, so it's kind of loose tension. I don't like it, how it was strong, but... Excuses. Ooh, that was a great shot. I think we're at 4 3 Naomi here. I have to change the line. Good length. Ah. Right, see how, you know, length is it's so important, keeping the ball deep on the court, pushing the person back, not allowing them to hit from inside the blue. Very important. Ooh, made that, made that. Simple change of direction there. You see how I was further back on the court and I lift the ball up a little bit more. Um, so just so I wouldn't miss in the net going down the line. It's important to know where you are on the court so you make the right decisions. Strike that one well too. So you didn't hit the ball, you know, that wide on the court, uh, but hit the ball with a lot of length um, and forced the mistake there. At this point, 6-5 me. Change of directions, and she missed it by a little bit. All right, so that's all I have from, from that practice session. Um, I think it was really good ball striking. Um, we, were, we were both hitting the ball well that day. Uh, and I think the camera angle is like really nice so you guys can see the pace and the length of the shots and, and there's a couple of things that I want to highlight that you can add to your practice. Um, when I post these videos uh, of me practicing with pro, pro players and me obviously being a pro player myself, uh, it's not for you guys to just be out in wow with you know how we hit the ball. We've been doing this for <laughs> for 20 years, you know, it, we, we should be good at it. Um, but when you are trying to, to practice, there's always certain things that I want you to think about more clearly than just, I just need a drill that you know fixes my forehand. What is the drill that is going, this magic drill that is going to all of a sudden make me a, a better player? You know why we can hit the ball this well? It's because we've been doing it for so long. So you can't just look for this magic formula. The one thing, the, not the one thing, but the few things I wanna highlight is one, Playing games, always make it into a game. Make something mon mundane as hitting down the middle into a game, or hitting, you know, short court into a game. Something that, like, you know, adds just a little bit of tension. Obviously, it's practice, but there's a little bit of tension. Two, good length. Trying to find depth on the court, finding the putting the ball deep on the court will force more mistakes than just hitting the ball hard. If you just hit the ball hard, one, you're probably going to make a lot more mistakes um, than you know, just trying to find the, the ball, putting the ball deep on the court. 
Uh, and two, again, you keep pushing the, the opponent back so they're not stepping into the court taking control of the, of the match. If you're able to play slowly but deep, it's already tough to, um, it's gonna be tough to beat you. Another thing you, you should pay attention to is try to spread the court a little bit, you know, when if you if you watch the points when you change when we change down the line successfully is because of the ball before we we open spread the court wide with a good cross court shot and then change the line i think that's important for for someone who's again a little more advanced and and who can control their direction a little bit more and yes controlling the direction really important to control the direction try to practice uh, always thinking like I'm trying to hit there you know if I'm missing nine feet from my target even if you put a cone or if it's just an imaginary thing uh, I might be doing something wrong but if you think about like okay that's the only thing I'm trying to to think about is the direction of the ball um, your body will kind of like do the work um, so uh, again you can always learn from watching players practice you're not gonna probably hit the ball like we do don't don't expect that but um, just add certain things to your practice routine that that will help you um, and I think you know we can all learn from from you know people who've been doing this for a long time so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up uh, it really helps us uh, that's uh, support Naomi uh, for the Australian Open um, hopefully COVID doesn't mess it up and we're able to have a nice tournament and she can take another title home. And remember to visit my tennishq.com. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, follow us on social media at my tennis HQ on Instagram, on TikTok. I'm not really gonna use TikTok, I guess, but we have the handle, so you wanna follow us, follow us there. Um, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys on the next one.